So, Ruby Rose reveals all about why she left Batwoman. Well, I don't think so. <laughs> uh, but she, I mean, I, I, don't, I don't know if I ever, ever thought she just suddenly quit and walked out on him or anything like that. As she said, I didn't up and leave. This she told to Jimmy Fallon. Apparently he still has a show. Yeah. So, uh, I didn't up and leave. We were in such a weird position because we had to shut down before we could finish the season because of COVID. So, boy, COVID is just the catch-all excuse for everything. Uh, that doesn't explain why she left. That just explains why the show ended before they actually finished the season. So they kind of just had to make do with what they had. So she says, I ended up talking to Warner Brothers and Greg and where the show was going, and we really just kind of had a really honest, good chat. Really? Where you both said, boy, this show is crap. And, and Ruby, you can't act. <laughs> is that what they did? I, you know, I don't know. Uh, that sounds more likely of what it would be. But, um, so they had a good chat where uh, they sort of mutually agreed that Kate Kane and her story and everything we had done, what we had set out to do. Really? I don't think so. Besides, at the same time, you mentioned you couldn't finish the season. <laughs> so, uh, I it, the, the character is Kate Kane. I um, I this whole idea of passing it on to someone else, that's just stupid. Uh, and so, uh, she says, I had a blast, and I really do feel like it was right for the show to pass the mantle on to someone else now. There are going to be many iterations of Batwoman. Really? So every season will be a different Batwoman? <laughs> Maybe they'll go down the checklist, you know. Eventually you'll have a trans Batwoman. Stuff like that, you know. Anyway, um, and she said, I'm really proud of it and I can't wait to watch season two. You're not watching it. Come on. Uh, it was a terrible show. I mean, yeah, she was uh, not all that in the character, but at the same time, it's probably not her fault because it was so bad. It, yeah, a better actress probably it wouldn't have made much difference. So um, uh, they reference that she was on another show, the Jess Cagle show, and uh, they brought up the neck injury that she had. It was pretty serious. And uh, she said, no, nah, it wasn't that. That's not the reason I quit. I mean, they definitely uh, made going back to work so quickly tricky. Oh, that made uh, so trickly, uh, quickly. Uh, tricky to do, but that said that the show uh, accommodated her and helped her out as best they could to get her back to work, and so she doesn't have any ill will towards them over that, uh, officially anyway. Um, and then goes on about, oh, the show's so important and, you know, all that crap. But, uh, yeah, I, we, this isn't the real story. <laughs> so next she'll be appearing in the film The Doorman. No, she won't be playing a doorman <laughs> with Morgan Freeman. No, I don't think he'll be a doorman either. Or maybe he will be. I don't know. Something about she's a veteran from the war and then some people target the building she's living in. and She's going to go all badass on him. <sighs> she's really small. She's toothpick-limbed. She's not an action hero. <laughs> this is, but whatever. Um, so at least the the new actress Javicia, I guess. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I think uh, she does fill out the suit. It looks like <laughs> they should have just done it. On, the, the multiverse thing happened, and this is the new Kate Kane. You know, I you know, or, or what? You, they're gonna cancel the show. Come on, it's it's terrible. Um, so. Uh, will we ever know the real story? Yeah, it doesn't matter. Not really. Uh, it was just awful. And in a lot of ways, uh, you don't want to burn bridges. And it probably what NDAs does she sign and all that sort of thing. So um, you know, she can't really say, yeah, it was awful. And I want it out as fast as I could because it's a terrible show. <laughs> but, but she, uh, in that respect, yeah, she made the right decision. Uh, so... Uh, uh, poor Javicia, you know, I can understand you. Look, look, it's a job, you know, you're an actress, you get into it. But the crap they're gonna, the script she's gonna get, it's got to be just horrible. Um, but who knows, maybe it'll actually get better, you know? <laughs> crazier things have happened. But uh, so the mystery of Batwoman continues, I suspect. <laughs> but I don't know, who cares?
All right. Thank you for watching and listening. So why not like and subscribe and check out that link description below. That'll take you to my mini stores that have plenty of goodies for you. You know, hats, mugs, stickers, posters, all that goody, goody stuff. Plus, you can head over to IndiePlanet.com and pick up a copy of my comic book, Night Night. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Plus, you can also catch my podcast, Mr. Nelson Show, over at RadioMisfits.com. And you can also watch my videos on my channel at BitChute. That's the Mr. Nelson channel on BitChute.com.